What's going on, you two? You ever think it's funny how, and you ever notice how people who we've never met before, people who we never talked to, people who don't even know our names, barely even know our faces because of the times that we're living in, they, they'll come up to us, they'll say something, they'll be ignorant, whatever the case may be, they'll give us a look, you know, give us slow service, whatever the case may be, and we'll actually take that into account, we'll genuinely be offended, we'll genuinely think about this person for long, extensive periods of time, and it's like, why the fuck do you care, like, you ever ask yourself that, like, why the fuck do I care, why do I give a fuck, I was literally at this restaurant the other day, um, and I was literally with my cousin and we were just randomly talking about fucking drugs. We were literally just talking about drugs. And Loki, when he was talking, he was just kind of being a little bit loud, not gonna lie, but you know, we're, we're family. So it's like, you know, we we have good rapport and everything. So we're talking, we're, you know, laughing, da, da, da. And then like, I was like, I was like doing this to him, like, oh, we need to chill or whatever. And then he was like, why bro? Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, and I don't know, it just, I was thinking about this on this car ride, I'm like, man, number one, like, he's very stoic, that was the first thing I noticed, and number two, I was like, damn, like, you're right, like, why do I care if people are listening to me talk about drugs, you know what I mean, this is a random topic in conversation, like, yeah, it's a little bit sensitive or whatever, but who gives a fuck, you know? And I was really, really wondering, like, why do I care about what other people think or how they're going to view me when I don't even fucking know these people? Like, really think about that for a second. What does that say about your, your true character and how you really feel about yourself? And honestly, what I realized from last night is, is I'm pretty fucking insecure, to be honest. And I'll be the first one to say that on the internet. I have a lot of work to do when it comes to, like, being confident and, like, my masculinity and stuff like that that's why i always talk about it on my youtube channel because i'm going through this shit you know like what you got to realize about being a man is bro is like you have to stand on your own two feet and it's bigger than just getting an apartment it's bigger than just getting your own uh you know car and whatever the case may be all these possessions right degrees etc etc it's also about like knowing who the fuck you are and walking in that and talking in that and being that you know what I'm saying so it's like if I want to talk about a sensitive topic and I'm in public as long as I'm doing it in a respectful manner which I was why would I care about what other people think I'm talking about and even if I wasn't still why would I care about what other people are talking about it's my conversation there's nobody else who should be even listening but of course there's you know, a lot of nosy individuals who we, unfortunately, we have to coexist with. But the fact of the matter is, if I want to have a conversation, I can have a fucking conversation. Like, I, it, it's not that deep. That's another thing too, man. Like, you got to get out of your head, bro. Like, it, sometimes we all are honestly victims of ourselves and our own minds because we'll think, oh man, like, shit like should i do this because this might be a possible outcome dude there's there is literally almost an infinite amount of possible outcomes that could happen to anyone at any moment and for whatever fucking reason we don't fucking know like you know what i mean thinking about pointless shit that is out of your control is so meaningless thinking about anything that is out of your control is so meaningless because it's out of your control which means there's nothing you can possibly do to change the outcome what's one of those things being one of those things being is how people view you you can't control how somebody fucking views you the only thing is is you can the only thing that you can really do is present yourself in the best light possible that's all you can do right and that comes with working on yourself you know working out eating healthy 
making more money, you know what I'm saying? Working on your people skills, talking, making connections, right? But as individuals, we have to realize that we're individuals. <laughs> and there's no other way to put it like that, you know? Because no one else is gonna want your dreams as bad as you want your dreams. I'm gonna say it again. Nobody is gonna want your dreams as bad as you want your dreams. No one's gonna want you to be better more than you should want to be better for yourself, right? So just stop giving a fuck. Stop caring so much about what other people have to fucking say because it's really not that deep. I'm telling you. It's all up to you. But don't get so over consumed with that knowledge. You know what I mean? Just realize that you're gonna have to go your own path and that should give you some clarity for understanding why other people don't understand you. And that should help you to not give a fuck. You know? Because he's living his own life. That guy over there. That guy in that car right there, he's living his own life. I don't know him, he doesn't know me. He doesn't have the same ambitions as me. He's not trying to go where I'm trying to go. He's not going as hard as I'm going. You know what I'm saying? We're two different creatures. I'm in my own lane, he's in his own lane. Now apply that to your life with everybody fucking else, you know? And I'll be the first one to say I need to take my own goddamn advice. Because social media is a trap for a lot of people. And even it traps me sometimes. Where I'll look at other people's lives and I'll be like, damn, why doesn't my shit look like that? Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna be living even better than that very soon. <laughs> Thought I knew that person. It's like, nah, I don't know why I looked. Her car is just dirty as fuck. Anyways, fam, I'm about to go get me a breakfast smoothie. You know what I'm saying? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a good one.